Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Today I bring you a little cup battle against Elijah K. Um, you notice that I don't sound super enthusiastic about this fact that it's a little cup battle like I usually do. Um, and my voice usually gets all high and sweet. That's because I, I gotta admit I'm kind of bored of Little Cup. You'll know, you'll notice also that it's been a really long time since I've uploaded a standard Little Cup battle rather than one of the Little Cup box roulette matches. Little Cup box roulette I'm still super excited about, but pure Little Cup is kind of I'm kind of bored of it right now because, in my opinion, Mr. Miss is just too over centralizing. Ban Mr. Miss and or shake up the meta game a little bit and maybe we'll talk. But as it stands, I'm I mean. I don't know, I'm just not thrilled with Little Cup as much as I used to be. Not to say I don't like the tier anymore, but no, like it's just not it's just not holding interest for me. Anyway, you'll notice my opponent has four uh, Pokemon that I gave him. Uh, leading off with Cuddledum, who is I actually have one on my team. Um Yeah, the, he got them through my Little Cup giveaway, which is still ongoing. If you want three Little Cup battles, or not sorry, Little Cup Pokemon, click the link in the description. Um, and then check out the spreadsheet that's linked to in that document, and you can ask for as many Little Cup Pokemon as you want, and I will attempt to give them to you, which might take me a little bit. Anyway, um, no reason not to go for the Drain Punch first turn, and no reason not to go for it second turn, because he's got no one on his team who resists it. So, uh, I do not quite take out this Talo, but nor do I activate its Berry Juice, so it actually has a Toxic Orb, so it must be Guts. Don't want to really be taking a Guts Brave Bird, especially considering it outspeeds me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out. He actually switches out as well. That, in my opinion, was a mistake. But oh well. Uh, out into my Drill Burr, Avocado. Uh, as I go out into Angler, I didn't know that he was going to send an Avocado, obviously. And I'm going to have to switch right out because I just, I just don't want to take an Earthquake. My, uh, my Chin Chow is bold. Wait, you'll know, this is actually the first time you've seen this iteration of my team. I had to replace Murkrow because Murkrow got banned, and uh, Slowpoke just wasn't cutting it anymore, and I replaced it with Chin Chow. Uh, the last slot is, is there for um, Porygon, uh, who I actually really like in that slot. Um, it's quite a good bulky Pokemon, um, and it has Recover, so Recover is always nice on what is a uh, bona fide a, a Little Cup stall team. So here I forgot, I wasn't sure whether I'd given um, this guy a Rock Slide, and it turns out I had, and so now I've lost 2010. And that's sad, uh, because I didn't even get off and hit. I should have at least gone for Ice Shard, <laughs> but oh well. Uh, at least I got a little bit of damage off of it with the Hail. Uh, I go now out into Minimus, which should have been my original move to begin with. Uh, and, you know, I could go for the Spore, but I'm actually predicting the switch out here, and so I just go for the Giga Drain. I don't think Giga Drain would have one-shotted, but it would have done a lot of damage. So, now it's going to come Cuddle Dumb, and so at least I get some damage off instead of just a wasted turn. Uh, but he's actually playing really well. And he's going to be able to get up a layer of spikes in addition to his layer of rot as I'm forced to switch out because I can't do anything to this thing. And I don't want it setting up all layers of hazards because then um, my regenerator ability is completely nullified. Actually, with all four layers of hazards, it does more damage than regenerator recovers. So um, don't want to dick around there. I just want need to keep him to as few as few hazards as possible. So uh, here comes the ne next layer of spikes. And I'm just gonna, I just have River out and I'm gonna scare him out. So, uh, my opponent is playing very smart and I'm actually quite impressed. So, uh, yeah, uh, he's actually gonna withdraw Cuddle Dump and uh, going to go right back out into uh, this Talo as presumably as Death Fodder because there's, n I mean, no matter what I did, it was gonna kill without range of health. So, Mini Lexi is dead. Uh, I've Again, personally, I would have left it in on that earlier turn and gone for the Brave Bird and just KO'd my, uh, you know, just, it would have hit someone for a lot of damage. And yeah, you would have lost your uh, Taylor, but, uh, would have been, anyway. Uh, I is now out, uh, it, I think this is a speed tie, no, I think it outspeeds, I can't remember. Uh, it doesn't matter, but, uh, I don't die because it doesn't get a crit. I go for the 4x effective U-turn, it does manage to take out I. Uh, no berry use activation. There was a critical hit there in the annotations. I will post whether that crit mattered. I suspect not if he was indeed running berry use. Uh, so now on the blind switch, I send out Prendar, my Porygon. Oh my, Porygon is so big compared to other little cup Pokemon. I mean, not as big as like Onyx, but it's still pretty big. So out is Avocado, who looks so small. And actually, there was this exact, I had this exact matchup the other way around in the last Little Cup battle I uploaded, which was a Box Roulette match. So I had the Drillbur, my opponent had the Prendar, 
Um, and <laughs> I went for the sword dance too, uh, as my opponent, I'm pretty sure, went for the tri attack with the idea that, um, yeah, so tri attack's not gonna one hit KO. Um, and I was, um, when I did this, Earthquake KO'd uh, Prendar. But in this case, Prendar survives on 1 HP and delivers the KO with uh, Tri Attack. So in this case, it worked out slightly differently. Um, and it's kind of a good thing because he probably could have swept me with that Drill Burr had I not gotten the KO. So now I can't switch out because there are too many hazards up. Uh, so I'm going to let his Zoroa take me out, his Zoroa being my Zoroa. Um, interesting that he didn't use it really as a Zoroa, he put it in the last slot, so it wasn't going to transform. So now out is going to be River, and yes, I know this thing runs extra sensory. I was very proud of the fact that it ran extra sensory, but I think I can take a non-stab extra sensory and then just KO with a, um, KO with a uh, Drain Punch. So indeed, I do survive. I go for the Drain Punch, I survive on one actually, and he survives on one, and I'm like, ah, if I'd gone for the Fake Out, this would have been a KO, but oh well, um, I, I still can go for the Fake Out, so I actually do go ahead and switch out, I'm gonna go out into uh, my Cuddle Room, uh, and I'm actually going to try to get a Leech Seed KO, because why not? You know, he could switch out, but uh, at that range of health, probably not the best idea, especially considering I could easily set up my rocks. Uh, he goes for Extra Sensory, uh, is resisted. Now, he does have Hidden Power uh, Fighting, but I believe Dark Pulse, or not Dark Pulse, I'm sorry, Night Days does more. Goes for the Night Days, does not get the Accuracy Drop. I go for the Leech Seed, and I, it hits, and I'm going to get a KO with Leech Seed. So that's kind of awesome. And now my opponent has two Grass-type Pokemon left, uh, one of which has no attacking moves, and the other of which he said after the battle actually did not have a complete move set. Uh, I don't know why he used it then, and like I said, you know, if you want more Little Cup Pokemon, you can have more Little Cup Pokemon. I actually gave him a bunch more, but he just resigned at this point. Um, so hopefully we will battle again uh, once he's played around in Little Cup a little bit more, and I've given him a whole bunch of Pokemon to play with. So, uh, yeah, I hope you folks enjoyed this match. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. And if you want free Little Cup Pokemon, all you have to do is ask. Just fill out the form, and they'll be there for you. So long, folks.